Now in Oklahoma, it's the best time for we think about establishing new perennial warm season pastures. And most of the time what comes to the mind is Bermuda grass. However, in the last weeks, I got lots of questions from educators and producers asking about Old Road Blue Stamps. And I would like to say that yes, Old Road Blue Stamp can be a good option uh, for Oklahoma. Uh, when selecting and thinking Bermuda grass versus uh, Old Road Blue Stamp, I would like to say in limited water conditions and low fertilization, Old Road Blue Stamps can do more than Bermuda grass. However, if you have more water availability, more rainfall, and also you are planning on putting more fertilization there, I would say Bermuda grass might be a better fit. In locations where we have annual precipitation lower than 23 inches, I would say Old Road Blue Stem might be a more interesting option because it's more drought resistant and can produce more in that condition than Bermuda grass. There are different varieties available. Uh, the most common and traditional one is the plains, but if you are in a, situ in a situation, in a condition that you have less than 18 inches of rainfall, you may think about WW SPAR, that was a selection from plains where they select the biotypes that's more drought resistant. Now, there are other options, for instance, Caucasian. Caucasian is going to be suitable also for all day state. You can produce more in quantity, but however, the quality is going to be a little lower. And there is a new variety, relatively new, that's the WWB doll, that we can have more production toward the end of the season. However, I would say this variety would be suitable more for the south portion of Oklahoma. Don't plant this variety up to the I-40, just down I-40, that would be the best. When you talk about establishing old road blue stems, um, if you are familiar on how to do with alfalfa, that would be about the same. You need to prepare a very good and firm seed bed where when you step with your feet, it doesn't seek more than half an inch. Now, when you talk about fertilization, you can go traditionally and incorporate the lime, P and K during the, the bed preparation by incorporate, incorporating at three inches. Or you can bend fertilizer, nitrogen and phosphor, for instance, uh, diammonium phosphate DAP close to the seed row that would be a good option and also improve establishment odds. Also, controlling weeds during the establishment year is crucial. Make sure that your seed bed is absent of any weeds. Overall, Old Road Blue Stem is a very good option if you are in a limited rainfall condition and you can have about three to five tons per acre.